I think it's impossible for me to think about my Whitman experience and my post-Whitman experience without thinking about the Watson Fellowship. It really feels like it was, it was a bookend to my Whitman experience and really my first career after Whitman. It's like a million experiences that someone might have in a lifetime just put into one year, which is really overwhelming, honestly, and also really uber powerful. I'm still like unpacking a lot of the experiences because I had to move from place to place. Um, you don't really have time to process. And so even today, like things will come up, a memory will come up that I totally forgotten of. One of the great values of the Watson Fellowship is that it expands on all of those things that the Whitman experience has brought to bear, the critical thinking, um, the self-awareness, the awareness of other, um, community engagement. All of that post-Whitman is carried forward on one's own as a Watson Fellow. The Watson in some ways sounds like this incredible, dreamt of like version of how to live a year after you graduate from college and hearing about this idea that you have to make your own project, that there's kind of a leadership centered focus to it, but also a lot of learning and a lot of humbleness that's probably built into the international journey. Like so much of that resonated with me. The Watson is a unique fellowship in the sense that it's not solely dependent on who has the best grades or who has the, um, the best academic record. Um, it has a lot to do with um, something that you are personally passionate or uh, intensely interested in and whether you have the wherewithal to kind of organize that idea into a year-long independent study. The title of my Watson Fellowship was Kids at Play, a cross-cultural exploration of children's games and childhood experiences. But essentially I, I played games with kids around the world in seven countries for a year. Um, and I wanted to learn about how children play, what their games can tell us about cultures and societies as they've changed over time. And I was also interested in the right to play, which is a, a human right that children are guaranteed. And I was looking at how kids embrace that right to play and sometimes we're not able to embrace that right to play um, in different contexts around the world. A lot of the seeds of the Watson year started with my academic curiosity around hip hop and social change at Whitman and that stemmed into not only activism on campus but then wanting to explore that globally and the Watson allowed a platform, a springboard for me to do that in a very real way, living in six different countries around the globe asking the public enemies or the the, the key hip hop players around the globe who are making different social movements by way of hip hop, how they're doing that and learning from that experience and then also participating in that movement building by making music together. And they may go on to conventional careers, they may go to graduate school, but they're going into those occupations with a heightened sense of themselves and the world around them from that year. I think one of the main ways that it served as a tool in my life other than career-wise is knowing that I can build community anywhere and knowing that what I, ha what I need to be well in a place and to be effective is in me and is in the place that I'm in. Um, and so I think that was really challenging at first, creating community and being okay with just being with myself. But that opportunity has made me incredibly strong and independent um, and really trusting of the people around me and and trusting of them to serve as my community, even if it's just for a moment. Um, and it's not just for a moment. I have friends all over the world now. 